Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Yee. If it's your first time here, today I have an hourglass foundation review for you. I'm just going to be trying this foundation on. I have the little sample that I think everyone got like on YouTube through Sephora, the little mini sample size that was pre-released before the foundation launch. I believe the foundation is up on the site now, but I thought I wanted to try it out before I made any rash decisions about purchasing this foundation, and as I'm sure most of you guys would, most of you guys would try it anyway. But um, I'm kind of in a rush because I have to go out soon for my boyfriend's birthday and I, of course, am running late. So I'm just going to try to hurry this up. This foundation you're supposed to wear with no foundation. I mean, not no foundation. You're supposed to wear with no primer. So I'm just going to go for it. It comes with a little spatula and it's like it's super cute. I have this in the color nude. I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. I just have to hurry this up. Um, so I'm going to be DDing. I won't be drinking or anything. but. Because I'm going to be going out, I'm probably going to be wearing this for a long time. So I thought, like, what a perfect time. I'm just realizing this might not even be the right shade for me, but hopefully this goes well. And I know you're not supposed to use um, too much of this, but this doesn't come in a pump. And I know you're supposed to use half a pump, so I don't know how to gauge that with a spatula. So I'm just kind of dotting it in places, and then I'm just going to blend it out and see how it goes. I also have a hormonal little pimple right here so if that if it covers it up that's great since this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation. And this is a little more warmer than I thought it was gonna be. But it's fine. I mean what else is new? I feel like wow this is very full coverage. Um I'm kind of afraid because for Hourglass, I feel like this is kind of like out of their normal, like, aesthetics because Hourglass is very known for like having, um, like, natural looking skin and dewy, I feel like dewy, like really just luminous looking skin so I was kind of surprised. I was really excited about the Sprint Foundation at first because I thought it was going to be a luminous foundation but I soon found out it's more of a natural foundation leaning a little bit drier in my opinion but um that covered up everything really nicely it's, it's a little warmer in my opinion than i would prefer just because i feel this is looking really warm on me but i i'm never tried it hourglass foundation and this is one of the only ones available for the sample sizes so um i just went with the description and um what i thought was going to be the closest and uh, definitely don't need too much right now. It's looking a little powdery and matte in my opinion. Like I feel like it, it looks like the It looks like it dried down quite more matte than I would like But I've also seen reviews where it gets more dewy throughout the day, so I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen here and that it just kind of settles in with like the warmth of my skin and it just becomes more dewy because honestly right now this to me looks matte but I guess no I guess it is still natural because it doesn't it doesn't emphasize like any of my dryness but yeah I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back okay everyone so here's the finished look uh, right now it is oh god my phone died but uh, I promise it's 8 p.m. live. But uh, right now it's looking a little too matte for me. I'm not really sure if I like this, but maybe I'll like it as the time uh, goes on. And I really need to get out of here, so I'll keep you guys updated. And I'll see you guys later tonight. It's now 12. Now 12.36 a.m. So I've worn this foundation for approximately eight, about four and a half hours now. So I'm just gonna take a quick look at my skin, see how I look and feel. Um. Personally, this isn't my favorite foundation. 
It looks really makeup-y on my skin. It really just clings to all my spots. It doesn't look any dewier than it did. Um, yeah, it just looks like everything's just sitting on top of my skin. It just looks like everything's sitting on top of my skin. Like, maybe it's just bad color matching. That's my fault. Here's a close-up of my skin with the way it looks. Um, my, my nose doesn't look that great. It's just collecting right here. It's doing something weird around my mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I was really excited for this because I do like Hourglass overall. I like most of the products I try from them, but uh, I just don't think this foundation is for me. I think I'm too dry for this foundation, to be honest. And I graduate with you too. I graduate with you too. Highly concentrated formula which delivers instant full coverage. Innovated, innovative coated pigments create a smooth, long wearing application without drying out the skin. Formulated with light refracting microspheres to blur and create a soft focus com complexion. Fade proof 24 hour long wear formula, waterproof, transfer proof, and sweat proof. I don't really think any of those claims are true if I'm being honest. Like, if I rubbed my skin, it would just come off. This isn't a bad foundation. It definitely isn't like the worst foundation, but it, do I think it's fi worth $56? No. There's no way. Like, I just don't like the way this, ma this makes my skin look. I don't think I'd get a good use out of it. It's less than an ounce, and I get that it's supposed to be full coverage and everything, but I don't know. It's just. Not for me, but if you're looking for a full coverage foundation that's on the natural side, but honestly, I feel like this is pretty matte in my opinion, at least for my skin type. It's just not looking so great. Uh, I wanted to try the Hourglass Stick Foundation just because I think that one's more of a hydrating formula, and I thought maybe this liquid one would even be more hydrating than that, and I'm really let down I don't know why <laughs> like I just don't feel like full coverage and like drying is kind of like hourglass for hourglasses forte I feel like it's more like if I would have expected a foundation from hourglass I would have expected like a dewy like like light to medium coverage foundation that's buildable um I don't think this is anything special but um yeah, maybe it's just my skin type. Maybe it works great for you and that's fine. But personally, I don't think it's worth the $56 and I'm glad that I have the tiny little sample size for me to try out. And I don't think it necessarily got dewier as it as time passed. I don't think it looks any better now, which was what I was hoping that even though I saw reviews that it was quite mad that it would get dewier throughout the day. But yeah, I just don't think it's worth the $56. If you're going to pay that money, I think... Yeah, I think it should be better in my opinion. Like it should just, you should just love this foundation and I don't personally love it. So that's my review. Like. If you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!